Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. So in the next few days we will be visiting Central Pay. It's a place that we know already. We've been to this place like a lot of times already. But um, yeah, we want to show you guys around and we'll show you all the hot spots and all the things we do here. So today we're going to go to the market first and then we'll have lunch at a beach bar. And after that, we don't know yet, but we're gonna take you with us. enjoyed the market it's honestly a must whenever you come here it's just like super cozy lots of jewelry and like, like every time we're in saint tropez we at least go to the market once yeah. it's a must yes it's every saturday and every if i'm not mistaken every tuesday or thursday i'll have to check it i will write it here okay so now we are on our way to the port with all the big boats so we're going to show you that and then we're going to have lunch at the beach Yeah, we just want to show you as much spots as possible so you get like an idea of what this place is all about and just like the beauty of it because a lot of people know Central Pay for like you know the rich and famous but there's it's so much more than that like this is probably one of our favorite spots right here some of you might recognize it from one of our photos already in the past and yeah it's one of my favorite photo spots in the center of Central Pay at least this is another one of our favorite spots where you can just chill, hang out, have a little picnic. Okay guys, so we left the town of Central Pay now and we're now at the most famous beach, Pampelon. It's not the most beautiful one though. That we will show you that another day but it's the most fun but it's the most famous one and if you want to party or like have good, a good lunch or something this is the place to be another beach that we will show you is like more naturey and stuff like that now we're going to have lunch at the Beatles beach yeah. now and we're going to have some lunch here and just relax actually on the beach Nicholas is already maybe sipping. sleep a little bit <laughs> Nicholas is already sipping cocktails so we're having lunch right now guys and it looks absolutely amazing and so does my baby so this is our second dish I'm having something very healthy and Nicholas is having truffle pasta I wish I took that as well though but you can I taste it yeah but I want to be healthy <laughs> so honestly we've just been relaxing at the beach club the yeah. whole day eating drinking so we, we haven't, haven't done much else so this is where we spent most of our day I went to see this afternoon it was so pretty Okay guys, so we have been enjoying our afternoon here. It's just like a full relaxed day today because we know that starting from tomorrow we will have to shoot so much. The next two days will be like lots of shooting. Um, and tonight we'll have dinner with some of my friends from here. And yeah, and then tomorrow it will be very busy. <laughs> Nicholas is still enjoying the last few minutes. <laughs> Good morning guys, so yesterday we had an amazing dinner, it honestly was really good, La Salama. So we highly recommend it whenever you come to Central Pay. It's I think our favorite Moroccan restaurant that's not actually in Morocco. So right now we are actually on our way to the center of Central Pay because we have actually a big shooting day. I'm sitting here in this big wedding dress. Um, yeah, it's pretty exciting, but it's also tons of work. 
on this whole trip we need to shoot about 10 wedding dresses spread over um, yeah, the south of France and Italy and it takes us a few hours per dress because we have to shoot photos we have to shoot a video per dress um, so today is like a big shooting day we will take you a little bit along but of course we don't want to like be boring <laughs> so we'll just show you a little bit of yeah, of how our shoot is going and you will see some b-roll of that so yeah so that's it for today guys so now we're shooting in Saint Tropez and then this afternoon we'll be shooting in Ramatuel. Let's do this! Okay guys, so the first shoot went well this morning but I'm honestly just so tired <laughs> because Shooting bridal dresses, it is beautiful and it's so much fun, but it's exhausting. So now it's part two to shoot. So like I said, it takes a lot of time to shoot dress. So we're trying to fit in three dresses today to shoot, but I don't know if that will work out. It's, it's 5 p.m. already. It's 5 p.m. already in the meantime. So I'm sitting here in like my huge Cinderella dress. Here are the rest of the dresses. Nicholas is driving because it's impossible for me to sit in the front seat because this dress is huge just admit you like sitting in the back yeah i feel i feel a little around. bit like cinderella though <laughs> oh, but i'm so tired i honestly i want to sleep Hey guys, so we did not vlog a lot today because honestly we got so caught up in shooting the wedding dresses. I know we did not show you a lot of travel content today, um, but we hope you enjoyed like seeing just like a little bit of just like our work actually. And now we're going to order some sushi and we're going to eat sushi here in the van just like low key and just have some time to relax, just some quality time. And Nicholas is chilling. And then we'll call it a night. Yeah, and then I think we'll just like go to bed quite early because I'm honestly super, super tired. Oh, by the way, we were sleeping upstairs actually, right there. And we decided to try out the bed here downstairs as well. It's honestly so much better downstairs. We sleep much better, but it's such a pain to convert it into a bed. So it takes some time. So we are now on our way to one of our favorite beaches. It's actually Laura's favorite beach in Saint Tropez. Since I was a kid, if you saw the post the other day, I was like playing on the beach as a little kid. That's taken right there. This place used to be like not to risk at all. Like a lot of people didn't know about it, except for the locals and people that came here a lot. But yeah, then it just got picked up by social media. Like, yeah, that's our fault as well, right? So it's probably like a 15 minute walk until you get to the part of the beach that we actually love. Yeah, if you go like really far, like if you walk like about 45 minutes, you reach a super big beach. Which it's a really beautiful spot as well, which actually goes there. But too yeah. far, too lazy. Not today. So a lot of people don't know about this beautiful part of Saint-Tropez. They just think it's jet set, glittering glamour. But to be honest, this is probably our favorite part of Saint-Tropez. Just so much beautiful nature. I'm hearing a drone. Cool story, bro. Sorry. So guys, this is it. My absolute favorite beach where I was going always as a kid. We honestly can't really show you the beach because there's people naked on it and I don't want to film them. Um, I want to respect that, so just want to show you the view of the beach okay so we finished working for today to be honest we spend most of our day at the beach mm. and now we're That's having fun. a little picnic we have a typical French picnic we have baguette and that's what they call it tapenade and we have rosé perfect where's the rosé from from here Le Tournelles. right next to our campsite So our picnic time is almost over guys so the sunset already and we're just enjoying the last few minutes here 
because it's just so beautiful. Do you call this over? Oh my god. You want to finish the bottle? No, I still have to try. Nicole is such an alcoholic. Such a responsible young driver I am. After this, we'll just go back to our campsite and then we'll cook ourselves some dinner and then we're going to take a walk in the Port Haven? Port Haven? I don't know. Is it the Port or the Haven? I think it's the Port. I think it's the Haven. In Flemish, the language we speak, it's called a Haven, so Haven. I honestly And in don't. French, it's called un port, so port. I think it's Haven from the movie Safe Haven. And haven't you seen it? Oh, we should totally watch it together. <laughs> okay, but um, no, so then we're going to take a walk around and we're going to show you guys my favorite place to eat pancakes. And honestly, it is typical French pancakes, so not American pancakes. So you get drunk when you so, eat them? Yeah. You guys, so now we're having crepes <laughs> pancakes, like French pancakes, um, with um, sugar and with Cremarnier. I'm it's, having one with Nutella and yeah, Cremarnier. Yeah, it's so good. Since I was a kid, I have been eating these pancakes and it's still like the same guy who's there. Um, He's course, been there for 40 yeah, years. Yeah, of course, when I was a kid, I was eating Nutella pancakes as well, like Nicholas is right now, but now I'm having Grandma and you, and it's really good. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. It is our last day here in Saint-Tropez, so today we're gonna take it easy. We're just gonna visit some little villages, like this one right here. So we're in Ramatuel right now. So that is actually the town where I've been coming to my whole life because, like, the place is like the villa that we rent here with my parents is actually in Ramatuel. Um, so it's the cutest town ever. It's super beautiful. So there's not much to do in Ramatuel. I mean, it's a small little French town. You, you have a have couple. To walk around. Yeah, just walk around. You have a couple good restaurants. There's a little market as well twice yeah. a week, which is quite fun yeah, and yeah. cute. It's just a vibe, actually. You just have to walk around and like feel the vibe. It's super cute. It's really beautiful. We'll show you what it looks like right now. So this is the most famous pâtissier in the whole of Saint-Tropez. They have multiple locations. It's called La Tarte Tropezienne, and we highly recommend getting your bread and your pâtisseries right here. And we are setting the right example. Mm. These are like the best. Um, feuilleté aux pommes. Feuilleté aux pommes. I don't know how it is in English. It's like a little um, apple pie. Apple. It's like like little, caramelized yeah, apple. It's like a little apple pie. But so, it's good. so good. It's like the best. I never eat this actually at home. I only eat it here. This, this <laughs> is why. mine. Petit pain au chocolat. Mmm. So good. Honestly, this is the best. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So these are all the cute little restaurants. And this is where we come and drink our morning coffee sometimes. It's like typical French little town. Okay, it's time for another little town, which is Gassin. To be honest, I don't know it really well. I've only been here once. Yeah, but it's also like really, really beautiful. It's just like a small village, just like Camatuel, but it has like the most stunning views on the Gulf of saint -Tropez. And I'll we'll show you the view in a minute. Yeah. It's amazing. We're first going to show you the village. So that was Gassin, as you can see, super cute, super yeah. quiet, like not a lot of people here, yeah. but... There's not much to do, like the same as in Ramatuel, you just have to like walk around, stroll a little bit, like takes... I, you've seen it in like less than half an hour, it's just like a little walk around. Yeah, yeah. Don't, and... don't try and spend multiple days here, because no. you'll get no, no, bored. No, no, no. But now the only thing left for us to do is show you guys the, the beautiful view. Because view. that's like the best, it's insane. So you have little Cappy right there. <laughs> And this is the stunning view you have from Gassin. Okay guys, so I was editing the vlog and we totally forgot to film the outro. So I guess this is the end of the vlog. Yeah, we hope you found it interesting to see a little bit of saint -Tropez and maybe some spots that you did not know about. For us, it's one of our favorite places, definitely. We really like the place. And there will be a blog post coming up soon with all our favorite spots, all our favorite restaurants, how to get to that 
um, beautiful beach that not a lot of people know about. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And if you like this video, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to us. And, and give it a thumbs up. And in all the next videos, you can follow the rest of our Europe road trip. We'll be visiting amazing places in Italy. The next one will be about Tuscany. We'll visit Puglia, the Amalfi Coast. So definitely keep an eye out for the upcoming videos. We actually already visited those places and we are back home, <laughs> but we didn't have the time to edit them. Yeah. But they will go live really, really soon. I'm working on it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. This is Nicholas and I'm Laura. See you in the next vlog. Bye.